and welcome once again to another fantastic episode of Minecraft City Building. My name is Dr. Wasabi, and we are in the wonderful uh, uh, primeval forests of New Walden, where today on episode either 27 or 28, I believe 28, I'm not losing my mind here, folks, um, we are going to be moving away from the city, because uh, we've done a few episodes on the cinema and, of course, the shopping mall, of which I will show you um, what we've done so far. However... We are moving away, as I've said, from the city and going to something a bit more, a bit more rural, a bit more uh, rustique, a bit more tra traditional, and that is a diner. Yes, we are building a diner, a very fallouty diner. Uh, now, you may be wondering, Alex, Dr. Wasabi, how did you get the idea for a diner? Because uh, it isn't that big of a, a build. And, you know, you could be building a lot bigger things, like stadiums and, and highways and stuff like that. And although I have built a highway, I haven't built a stadium. So that is a great question. I was on um, Roblox. Yes, Roblox. <laughs> My hidden shame. <laughs> and I was um, I was browsing through the maps, and there was this lovely map called um, just the Diner. And, and that was it. It was just called the Diner. And it's just a place where if you're bored, you just join, you sit down, and you just listen to some lo-fi music. Or, or whatever have you, you can add your own custom music and just sit down and relax. And I found that such an interesting concept. Not necessarily the lo-fi part, but like like a lonely diner on a on a on a just a, an old road. It, it, it struck such a chord to me. So I actually did draw up some ideas for it. However, I did actually. Uh, I couldn't figure out where to put it. So I put in a poll on the community tab and the people have spoken. I put the options near the mansion and highway, near the city and highway, and near the center of the map. Now, near the center of the map got 0% unfortunately, but near the mansion and the highway got 79% winning the poll with near the city and highway coming <laughs> <laughs> Rather late, right? 21%. So that's where we're going to build it, near the mansion and highway. And I picked out a perfect, just amazing spot for it here. Now, this is not going to be a huge build. Now, obviously, from some standards, this might look absolutely ginormous. But build-wise, um, this is smaller than the bridge over here. So we're going to do the layout. I'll get into a nice tile out, so we'll see what we can come up with this episode. We should be able to... Um, to finish this off um, by the end of the episode because it's not exactly like this huge complex where um, you know you're shopping or it's like a, some underground base now this is very kind of um, down to earth you know very simple concept so I'm gonna work on the layout now the lo-fi I actually did visit did have a very unique layout however I don't want to um, appear um, as I am I'm, I'm taking the design 100% because um, it does have a very specific layout and I don't want to copy. So we're going to make our own layout for today. So one thing I'm going to experiment with is we're going to make a little square. And I think this is where it's going to go. So how it will be, I'm thinking that it could either be this entire show here. Let's see, one, two, three, and one, two, three. We'll go around. And then this will line up to the corner. And then we we'll just bring it around like an L. You know, taking a big fat L. And I'll never say that again. Okay. How's that look? Pretty good. Okay. So I'm thinking the entrance will go around here. And what we'll do, it'll have this wonderful corridor of uh, different seats and different uh, um, stools, essentially. And then we can have the kitchen in here serving everybody. I think that'll be a really nice idea. Or, even better, we could have it. So, how long is this? One, two, three, one, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, one, two, three. We divide this up even further. So, this will be the kitchen. Um, and this will be the serving area where the diners or, or the employees will hand out the food because I'm thinking like greasy steaks and, and burgers and chips and fries uh, and stuff like that and a uh, uh, glow pop. 
Cola bottle, I'm thinking. <laughs> Little in uh, map preference there. But no, I think we've got this layout pretty set on a T, um, ladies and gentlemen. So the only thing to do now is kind of see how the path will actually wrap around. Because we do actually need to add some, some parking here. <laughs> I do understand that, so what we're gonna do, we'll add a little path outside. Let's get let's get our smooth stone now, folks. We'll do this. There's just a quick thing around the edge. Look like two blocks, yeah. Two blocks of uh smooth stone wide. Uh just around the diner. Like so. And we bring it around accordingly. This way, so the reason I'm doing this is that if we need to actually move the diner using a structure block, um, we have a, a good like path around it. Because usually, when you're using foundations and you're building paths and streetlights, you have to move those separately. So this actually counteracts that problem because we could just bring the path along with it. Oh, <laughs> I seem to have excavated the wrong part. Let me just fill it up there. There we go. Lovely jubbly. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Right. Okay, we have our path surrounding the diner. Um, now what we're going to do over here is some sort of parking lot, which I think we'll do after the time lapse. But I think for now we've sorted out a pretty good design so far so essentially how it will look it'll be like a 50s diner perhaps some more modern um integrations I i'm gonna experiment and then see what i come up with um not too much but you'll, you'll get what i mean when the time lapse uh finishes we'll add some trees around because i really want to make this look like it's an isolated diner where there's drivers on the road will just pull in if they need something to eat um on their journeys and just have a have a snack so like that so, I think without further ado, let's get on with our time lapse.
And we are back from our time lapse. But before I show you anything, anything at all, I just want to say if you like what I do, if you like my channel, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. It is greatly appreciated because, of course, it spreads my channel amongst the algorithm and spreads my content to you. Amazing, just fantastic folks okay now let's see what we have here so a pretty good result overall um overall overall <laughs> god i could do a bit of a lisp um so yeah um i was having my doubts about this build but i think with enough fiddling um it came together all right in my opinion we got this wonderful dino sign now originally i was planning to use a uh, red terracotta but i ended up using um what's this stripped crimson hyphae which is the most eccentric uh, sounding block. <laughs> now, of course, um, I wanted to give the appearance that this was somewhat run down. There was a bit of age to it, because of course it's in the middle of the woods, next to the uh, the, the the tree and the, the swamp. So I wanted to give it some age, so I kind of roughed up the materials with some white concrete and some blocks vine, which really go well with the uh, smooth quartz blocks. And of course, um, on the path, I kind of digged out these grass holes to kind of signify how nature was kind of reclaiming some of the parts of the diner. Now, I was saying um, how I was going to do this parking lot, but I had a great reference image, image from Gravity Falls where they have dirt roads. They don't use um, actual asphalt um, for the parking. So what I might do is I'll rough up the road and make it look like uh, drive or tire lines are uh, going down into these little parking uh, spaces which I think will be quite a interesting concept but anyway <laughs> oh, let's get inside here for the interior now not much has been done interior wise but that is going to change so what we're going to do is first we're going to get in a floor down here my my this is this is grass paradise over here uh, I think we'll do a lovely stripped spruce wood because I want this to really look like an old diner, and a lot of old diners had these kind of um, what 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 do we call it? Um, well, <laughs> wooden floors. <laughs> so let's bring in the commands like so. That's one corner, and we go over to the other corner. Now, of course, we will change the uh, floor pattern for the kitchen. There we go. Okay, so minus. 287 65 and 0 now we need to put in it always is a frustrating concept to do these kind of things because you got to get it right so I think what was it 9 first strip spruce wood did, oh my god we did it I was <laughs> I'm quite surprised at that, folks. I thought it was like going to be Acacia or something like that. But no, we got it right. And oh, look at that uh, contrast. It really looks vintage in that kind of uh, style. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to cover up these lines. Now, I wanted to use glowstone. And you may be wondering, why are you using such a dusty block? A dusty and old block like glowstone? Well, I was thinking it goes great with this build because it's a dusty and old diner. <laughs> so... Um, the blocks kind of go uh, perfectly within each other. So I'm just going to put some iron trapdoors over here. Just to cover it up because you have that wonderful tint of yellow um, when, you're, when you're walking through. Now, as for the seats, let me, let me bring these through. What can we use? Uh, nothing too bright. So I was thinking something like red narrow brick would do the job. Like so. Just bring that along here. Like so. Wonderful. Now, um, what could we do? Actually, one thing we will do is we'll, we'll block out that um that space there because we've got to have seats over here of course um so if i just break, <laughs> broke a hole in the, in the, in the wall let's see 
Wonderful. So we have a space in here, which I think I might uh, play around with, see what all we can do. But for the tables themselves, I'm going to use a... Let's see here. Nothing too fancy. Let's try oak wood. How's that look? Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. The oak wood as a kind of a vintage style tabler is looking pretty good. Now, what can we use for the kind of the. I don't, I don't know what you'd call it, like the dividers? It's, it's probably dividers. <laughs> oh, ignore me. Um, I suppose we use white stained glass. Let's see how that looks. Okay, that looks pretty good. Pretty, pretty jazzy. Um, hmm, my only problem is it kind of clashes with the window. So what I might do is just have it so it... Just a bit, yeah, like that. And then we can just copy it around. Like so. Now let's see how that looks from the outside. Okay, not bad. It doesn't cover up like the sight of the windows, which is good. Uh, if we go inside here again, so obviously this is looking a bit. Um, I don't want to say bland, but it's looking pretty bland. <laughs> so what we want to do, we'll kind of decorate these tables with some some brown carpets, some white carpets, some uh, let's see pressure plates. Come on, bring out the pressure plates, people. Oh, I nearly <laughs> died trying to say that. And uh, white pressure plates, like so. Although we could change it through, like maybe some of them are, are, are yellow kind of ceramic plates, perhaps. All good. Maybe some cups. Okay, okay, we're getting somewhere. Let's just put a divider here. Okay, okay, we're cooking on gas here. Okay, what else? What else do we need? We need food. Yes, that's what we need. So let's get out. We could do some uh, item frames and put down some food, some pancakes, or something like that. Obviously, we don't have pancakes, but um, we'll have to improvise. <laughs> so perhaps a, uh, a cookie. Um, like that. How's that look? Okay, pretty good. Pretty good. Now, I don't like using too many item frames, because, of course, it can lag out your server if you have, like, millions of item frames across the... Um, across the world so only use them when you think they are most needed um essentially um so i'll just put some in here now of course we could break that up with some cake i love a good bit of cake um because of course you know diners you got your pancakes you got your sweet stuff um perhaps not cake but you kind of have to use your imagination of these things so let's get out our cake like nope like that there we go wonderful okay now, I think it's time to add some greenery here, because uh, I've got to admit, everybody likes a good bit of bushes. So, what block can we use as our center base? Let's see here, have some cobble deep slate, how's that look? Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, perhaps we could use... Uh, let's see here, ba 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 ba. Let's see, let's see if we can use sea lanterns and then block that up using some dark home trap doors. Okay, that works. That works. Can you do this around here? Oh, oh, that does work. That works. Oh, pardon me. <laughs> That'd be the leak side. Like that. Lovely jubbly. Okay, this is coming together. Oh yes, yeah, all coming together. Right, um now for these stalls I want to do something like not um not carpets on end rods, but maybe I could do a very old fashioned type of stall. Um, we're really going into the OG kind of uh, Minecraft designs here. So we get out our piston. And we have it like so, where we have one redstone block underneath um, the floor by one. And then we just place a piston and it goes up and those are our stools. Now, of course, it does um, uh, depend 
on whether um, you want them to be too high or not. So one thing I may do is I'll, um, I might, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll heighten this up like so. This so is a bit of um, realism because <laughs> essentially standing on a stool um, from here. So let's see. Okay, we go into here. Um, we could essentially make a full lighting uh, fixture here, just to just to add in some some panache, you know. Um, so if I add in some slabs, like so, maybe like a little step up so people can serve their, their food and all that and all that. Um, what else could we do here? We could add a coffee machine over here, like the proper um, espresso machines you see in Fallout. Uh, I forget what they're called. Oh, um, there's, they're Italian. I know that. Um, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> I suppose. Uh, let's see. Let's get out our cup. Like so. And what was it? It was definitely a hopper. So if we bring that like that. And we... Well, attach some red brick slabs. Usually I use carpets, but because of the height of the build, we can always... Um, extended and for the final touches we will use buttons maybe polished blacks no buttons except like so. now I'll tell you what we use the uh, black stone buttons there and the what was it it was yes a tripwire hook over here now that will stop the door from actually activating when we do press buttons and why so like so, now, what we will do is we will add a pressure plate over here. Like so, now, oh, this is a dark, dark place. Now, what I'm going to do, folks, so we've done a decent bit of the interior. So I'm going to do some off-camera shenanigans, and I'll be right back um, after the short, <laughs> this very short interlude. Okay, we are back after that short interlude, and I think after a, well, <laughs> a night of uh, fiddling around with the build, I think I've reached a place um, which I'm happy with. Um, of course, if there's anything I need to change, I'll change that as the uh, build progresses and the world uh, builds itself up. But I think this is pretty much done and dusted, so I'll show you the kitchen. I have added a back door because I found it really preposterous how you can have a kitchen in the back with no ventilation, no, no way for air to escape. You'd literally be cooking your own cooks. <laughs> so we come into here and we have a little back window that can be slid open um, if you need to let some air in. And we also got some ventilation shafts up here in the corners. Uh, we've got this big, big um, cooking station where you can uh, f uh, cook burgers and prepare hot dogs and all that jazz we also have a fryer which i've used um composters to kind of signify um some sort of frying process going on here it, it also looks like um if you want to kind of do a make-believe kind of thing it almost looks like chili uh you know like chili on fries and something like that so i thought that was a really nice uh, addition to the kitchen of course we've got our little washing station over here, and I've used the skeleton skull as like a, a a toilet roll, so you can dry their hands and go back to work. I've also put in some um, sauce stations, so you got yourself some uh, some tomato sauce, you got yourself some um, some brown sauce or HP. I, I know it's a, a British thing, but I do like my HP sauce. And this one is um, very special. This is like some kind of glow pop sauce. You know how local cooks would use uh, uh, local cola brands and make uh, sauce out of it. So I kind of uh, uh, took that idea and made a like a glow pop sauce that they would put on their fries, which uh, may or may not have <laughs> disastrous consequences in the future. But hey ho, that's um, that's the way creativity goes. Uh, of course, you may be wondering, Wasabi. Where's the fridge? And that is an excellent question. And I'll show you where the fridge is. So, this is a really interesting idea. I actually made it so the fridge is outside. It is a deep, well, a, a freezer essentially where they can bring in um, ice cream and stuff like that and serve it and put it through a machine. And up here is just a simple kind of roof access because what I'm going to do um, off camera is I'm going to make a huge 
ventilation cube, so to speak, um, in this corner, and I'll have it poking out top, just so there's a sense of, well, the, the ventilation's going somewhere. You don't, you don't want to poison your own customers, do you? Uh, so that is essentially this episode um, done and dusted. Well, and then one more thing. I did add a, uh, a little cute jukebox using uh, prismary walls because they actually do change colour, which I found um, to be quite interesting. So anyway, <laughs> oh, that is episode 28 of Constructing New World and City. I'm so glad you could come over and watch this episode. Uh, with me, Dr. Wasabi, it's greatly appreciated. I cannot thank you enough. We just hit 1K subscribers. So again, I, I know I did a video on this, but I want to thank you so much for that. There's plenty of episodes on, on the way, don't worry. My name has been Dr. Wasabi. I want to say goodnight to you from the bottom of my heart. Good night, And of course, as always, God bless. And now, folks, it's time to say good night. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night. <laughs> <laughs>